What is it that makes a space productive? What is it that makes a space, uh, you know, challenging and exciting and embracing and including and, and hospitable and, and tolerant and so on? What is that? When I make something, which maybe is a work of art, I want this to be in the world. I want it to be kind of sincerely and honestly and responsibly in the world. I want it to have an impact somehow. It's important to maybe talk about to what extent do we feel that we have an impact on, on our world, on the surroundings? To what extent do we feel that it makes sense to vote or to participate or not to participate or to step in or step out and so on? To what extent do we feel a cause and effect or a causal sort of a dimension to our life? Does it actually even matter that we have an opinion about something or that we are here in the first place? I think one of the main sort of uni unique qualities about um, about the, the kind of the language that art speaks is that it it kind of doesn't take the world for granted as being truthful. It looks at the world as if the world is a model. And 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 what happens is if you successfully, you know. Uh, starts a dialogue on that basis, that reality is, you know, construction. What happens is suddenly re reality also becomes relative. Suddenly it can change. Suddenly, if it's a construction, it's much more likely to be renegotiated. And if it's a kind of an objective truth, it's, you know, less likely to be renegotiated because people might think that God has made it or something like that. When I talk about um, you know the the reality uh, or, or the, the world not being objective but being a personal sort of point of view, it's not so much about the personal point of view, but it's simply just to argue that the world can change. And art is you know one of the tools or one of the ways you can address this, this sort of the nature of this change. Traditionally, a lot of people refer to space as a sort of container where you can put something inside. I would rather like to see space or the city as New York, if you want, the public space, as a kind of multiple layer of stories, all the stories in New York so far. Adding the waterfall is just adding one more story to all these stories, becoming a part of the city. It's a sort of entanglement where these waterfalls in the city become one thing. And they develop and that space goes on. I've added you know, one more story to the history of that city. 